Hi guys, I am back with another video. This time we're gonna talk all about face brushes by request from one of my lovely subscribers. And if you want all of the terminology behind why we're using exactly the brushes we are, keep on watching. If you just want the recommendations, you can skip to the end of this video. When choosing a brush for your foundation, what you want to be thinking about is what sort of coverage you want out of it. That will also vary depending on the actual foundation, but the brush also does affect this. If you want just a solid medium coverage, something that's going to smooth it out really beautifully and almost work for everyone, I'll recommend to you the Expert Face Brush from Real Techniques. This one is really good to get all in the nooks and crannies of the face and really buff out that foundation in a very easy and fast way. So this one is a winner for me. Another really solid recommendation for you if you want a good medium coverage that's also very fast and even is the Flat Top Kabuki. This one I have here is from W7 and this is an amazing brush to distribute the product all over your face very very quickly. Listen you guys, if you can't find this exact brand, think about that it has this shape, so it's like a flat angled top kabuki and it's very dense in the bristles and also that the fibers have really good quality. That's all you need to be thinking about and you'll find a good brush for you. So if you want a heavy coverage with your foundation, what I would go for is just a flat brush like this one. This one almost looked like a paintbrush and that's effectively how it's gonna work. It's almost gonna paint on your foundation which is gonna give you the most coverage. Also because the foundation does not sink that much into these fibers. So this one is really good for a very heavy application. A lot of people do like the Beauty Blender a lot. They really think that this one is their holy grail. For me, not so much. I feel like this one is a money pit. This one, when I pump my foundation out onto my hand and I start dabbing it in, I feel like my foundation disappears into this beauty blender and I could just not get it to work for me. I don't think this is a winning product, so I cannot recommend that to you. So bye bye. So when applying concealer to your face, again we have the same principle of heavy coverage. You probably want heavy coverage out of your concealer, otherwise you probably wouldn't use it. Um, so again, it's the same principle as the one with the foundation brush. What I'll recommend is a smaller version of that, which looks like something like this. This one is very, very good for, again, a very, very precise application that's going to give you a very heavy coverage of concealer on your face. Either way, you could even go even smaller than that. You can see this one is even smaller than this one. But again, look for these characteristics because this one is going to give you very, very heavy coverage right on those spots where you need most. So now that we've applied our foundation, what we need to do is apply a powder to set it, of course. And a good all-over powder face brush is the powder brush from Real Techniques. This one is really amazing because it's like really fluffy. As you can see, it's not very densely packed in the bristles. So this one is just gonna dab easily into your powder and apply a very, very thin layer all over your face. You can also get less expensive powder brushes. This one is from W7, but it has the same characteristics as you can see. So even if you can't find these brands, look for characteristics that has very not densely packed bristles and also a very fluffy texture. So now that we have our foundation on and we have our powder on, what we need to do, if you wanna, is contour. And a good brush for contouring, this one is my holy grail. I really love this one. This one is from e.l.f. It's called the Angled Blush Brush. And why I like this one is that it's sort of angled here, but still a little bit dense, yet fluffy enough to buff out, to make it look like a shadow. And also it just fits in the face, like right here, if you just put it like this and just sort of buff it in. It will look like a fluffy shadow, yet it's precise enough for a precise application on your cheeks and also on the top of your forehead and on your jaw. Alternatively, you can also use when contouring your cheeks a smaller version of the one I recommended for the entire face. This one I have here is from H&M and as you can see it's a little bit smaller and also the bristles are a little bit shorter which is going to give you more precise application but yet it's fluffy enough to like buff it out and make it look like a shadow also all over your face. So this one is also a very very good option for that. When contouring my nose I always use two brushes. Um, first I use one for a very precise application of the powder itself. 
this one is the shading brush from Real Techniques. This one is going to give you this very, very precise application of powder on the sides of your nose, which is going to create that really harsh line at first. So you just take this one, dab it into the powder very, very lightly if you have a good powder, and then just apply a good shadow down here, and that's going to give you a lot of precision. And then I go ahead and use that angled brush brush again from e.l.f. to like sort of buff it out a little bit better. And these two work amazingly in combination. Again, if you can't find these brushes exactly, just look for the same characteristics. I cannot underline that enough. So when applying blush to your face, what I will recommend to you is again a smaller version of that overall face powder brush. That's going to give you, again, a very, very precise application on the apples of your cheeks. Yet it's going to be fluffy enough for it to not uh, create harsh lines on your face because that's not something you want in your blush. So this one is a very, very good option for that. Again, very, very fluffy, yet precise enough for a good application. Oh my hair. Okay, you guys, now we've reached the fun part, which is the highlighter. You all know that I am a highlighter junkie. Um, so I like a little bit heavy application of highlighter. Um, that's just me. So again, I use this angled brush brush. Blush brush from e.l.f. Uh, this one is really, really amazing because it's going to give you that very, very sort of precise application, yet you're going to be able to like fluff it out a little bit so it doesn't look like just a shimmer strip, uh, like from a precision formula right, right on your cheek. That's not pretty at all. So again, fluffy but yet precise enough for a good application. Alternatively, you could use a fan brush, which is going to be also very amazing for just applying a very, very light amount of highlighter on your face. I see a lot of people doing this and it looks beautiful when they do it. So now it's time to get your brow game on fleek, which is very, very important since we all know that the brows, they do frame the entire face. What I'll recommend for this is this H&M brush. This one is really, really good since first you can go in with your brow pencil and then you can comb your brows while distributing the product in your brow, which is gonna make it look very, very even and beautiful. Um, and it even has this other side that's really, really good for brow um, powders. That's gonna be really, really good at creating those hair-like strokes within your brow. What I'll recommend when it comes to eyeshadow is the Real Techniques shading brush. This one is amazing because it can really pack on the pigment onto your lids and be very precise in that sense while still being able to buff out that smoke in your crease if you want a good smoky eye. Um, so it's really going to be able to blend that eyeshadow out really, really beautifully yet be precise enough for all your eye needs. If you're someone who likes to put also eyeshadow beneath your eye, I will recommend something slightly different because there you want this very, very thin, precise line, but perhaps you still want to be able to smoke it out. So from M Cosmetics, there's the 218 brush. This one is really, really amazing as you can see because it's very, very, very thin, so it's going to be able to create a very, very precise line, yet it's actually fluffy enough for it to actually be blended out which is going to create that beautiful shadowy effect on your eye. And even the other side of this brush is also very amazing because this one is like very, very densely packed. And if you really want to pack on some pigment, like if you want like that full on glam girl, then just pack on that pigment using this very, very dense brush. And I promise you, you're going to be sparkling like a queen. So when it comes to eyeliner, I'll recommend something very, very thin and very, very precise. Because if you want that nice cat eye, you're gonna need something very, very precise to achieve that. Um, what I'll recommend is actually, again, this uh, brow brush from H&M. This one is amazing because it can be used for so many things. It's so versatile. So, because this one actually has this very angled and very, very, very precise liner end to it too where you can just very, very nicely pack on that line and really create that beautiful winged line. And that's gonna give you a lot of precision too. So for lips, you want this very, very precise application again. And I actually do like the 218 brush from M Cosmetics, which is this one. 
for lips, this end here is very very great because again it has this very precision thing to it where you can just like get in there in all of the nooks and crannies and really really make sure to get a precise application. If you ever have worn a red lip you know what I'm talking about. You are gonna need that precision thing. So you could even go smaller than this one to create even more preciseness which is gonna be beautiful when you apply your lip products. So when it comes to applying bronzer, what I'll recommend is something very very similar to uh, what we used actually to apply the overall face powder. So again, I would go with the Real Techniques or I would go with something like the W7. Those are really really good for uh, bronzer too because again you want this very very fluffy all over thing with your bronzer which is going to be a beautiful shadowy sort of glowy bronzy effect. Um, so these are really good recommendations for that. Now guys we've reached the end of this video where I'm going to be recommending to you my core collection which is my holy grails of brushes. So for all over face foundation needs I'll recommend the expert face brush from Real Techniques. This one is amazing to get all in the nooks and crannies while still blending out your foundation to a sort of a medium coverage that's also very very fast. So for powder, all over powder needs, I'm going to be recommending the Real Techniques powder brush. This one is absolutely amazing since it's so fluffy and it's just going to give you that very even thin application of both bronzer and face powder. So for contour on my cheeks, what I will recommend is the angled brush brush. This one is absolutely amazing, it's just going to go all in the nooks and crannies while still being bent and dense enough for it to be precise yet fluffy enough for it to be very shadowy for uh, cheek contouring. Uh, when it comes to your nose contour, what I would recommend is the Real Techniques Shading Brush. This one is very very good for creating that line first and then I'll combine it with the angled brush from e.l.f. to buff out that line which is going to make it very very fluffy again yet very precise so it's going to get a beautiful contour on your nose. So for highlighter, what I'll recommend is again the e.l.f. brush. This one is amazing for multiple things. This one is very 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 good because it's gonna get you that very very precise application of highlighter yet it's gonna be fluffing out the highlighter very good also. So for blush, we've reached blush. Uh, I'm gonna be recommending this H&M blush brush. This one is absolutely amazing for that because it's gonna give you a precise application yet it's gonna be very very fluffy and shadowy uh, so you can really center that on the apples of your cheeks. And for brows, I'll recommend to you the H&M, which is really, really amazing when you have a brow pencil. So you can just distribute the product very evenly while still combing your brows. This one is also very amazing for creating a nice line when it comes to eyeliner, which this one is going to be precise enough as, because it has this little angle, yet it's very, very small and very, very dense, which means that it's just gonna create that beautiful precise line that everyone wants. When it comes to your eyeshadow needs, what I'll recommend is again the shading brush from Real Techniques. This one is dense enough to pack on pigment on the lid and also on the brow bone, yet it's fluffy enough to be able to create shadows in your crease. So this one is amazing for eyeshadow needs. So for your under eye eyeshadow needs, what I'll recommend is the 218 from M Cosmetics. This one is really, really amazing since it can just pack on that pigment underneath here and still be able to blend it out while still being precise, which is very great about this one. This one was also very great for your concealing needs because it is so precise and also for the lips. The precision of it really makes it very versatile for those precise things that you're gonna be able to use it for. So another concealer brush that I would recommend to you is this one here. I don't even remember what brand this is from, like this is very bad, but I don't remember what brand this is from. So if you could just look at the characteristics off of it, it's like sort of thicker than the other one from M Cosmetics, um, this one, as you can see it's a little bit thicker, 
but still it gives you that very very precise application because it is so dense in the bristles as you can see I almost can't like bend it it's like very very dense uh, so that's gonna be able to cover all of those needs while still being fluffy enough to like blend out that concealer so those were all of the brushes that I'll recommend to you if you have any other questions please comment in the comment bar below and as always thank you so much for watching oh wait before you go I also had some very general points to make about brushes what you want to do is that you want to be cleaning them at least once a week because otherwise there's going to go bacteria within the bristles of these brushes that's going to probably cause you to break out so really remember to clean your brushes always and if you can't find these exact brushes you know just look for the characteristics that I talked about as I also mentioned several times throughout this video because you are go going to be able to find brushes that's gonna match your requirements for them just think of the characteristics and what you want to get out of them which I just explained to you in the video and thank you so much for watching